Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove, or welcome back if you're returning. Y'all know here we like to do farmhouse decor on a Dollar Tree budget. I am so excited to be a part of the What Month Is It Challenge that is hosted by Tammy from Happiness Created. We're going to talk about that in just a little while, but for now we're going to get right into the DIYs. So for this month, it's the month of July, so you're supposed to do something that reminds you of July or something that has to do with July. So I decided to do a coastal Christmas in July theme. So the first thing I'm doing is I took this large stove cover, burn, stove burner cover, I cannot talk this morning, y'all. And I sanded it down real well so that my paint would stick a little bit better. And on the inside of it, I'm just going all the way around the edge. I'm not worrying about the middle part. Then I'm after that dries, I'm going to take these little round stickers the circle stickers they look like beads to me from the dollar tree and i'm going to go all the way around the uh stovetop burner cover why is it so hard for me to say that y'all oh my goodness so anyway we're going to go all the way around i want to say that i ended up using maybe three and a half or four strips okay it looks like four strips of these to get it to go all the way around this cover after we get those on there, we are going to go ahead and use, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell y'all what color I'm using. I'm using Mineral by Waverly Chalk Paint. This has become one of my favorite colors, and it just kind of reminded me of sand, so that's why I'm using this color. But now we're going to go all the way around this stove top burner cover, <laughs> painting it, the beads and all, and then we're going to go ahead and paint the top of this also. I ended up using two good coats of the Mineral Waverly Chalk Paint, and there's what it looks like when it's finished. Now we're going to take these foam dice from the Dollar Tree, and I'm using four of them, and I'm going to go ahead and paint all of those, the entire, all of the entire dice, does that make sense, um, in two good coats of Mineral Chalk Paint by Waverly. I'm just making kind of, of a little pedestal or tray to hold my DIYs. I love how these turned out. They're super, super simple and maybe not a huge Christmas vibe to some people, but to me being in Virginia right now um, around the ocean, it's totally giving me a coastal vibe, so that's why I went with these. So now what we're doing is taking some of this wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. I'm just using the stovetop burner cover to trace around it and get the size I need. And then we're just going to take the backing off and put it right in the middle. Now, I picked this um, pattern just because, again, coastal, that's what these leaves make me think of with the colors and everything. So that's what we did. Now we are just going to glue our feet, which are actually our dice, onto our little pedestal here. And when we get that finished, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Probably that's going to be it. So, <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to glue all four of those on. I just used hot glue and it worked out perfectly. And this is our final product. I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute. And I'm loving that I'm going to be able to put all of my DIYs on this little pedestal. So again, we are part of the What Month Is It Challenge, hosted by Tammy at Happiness Created. She hosts this every single month. I've never got to be a part of it. I've just, I've not had time, but I am so excited that she asked me to be one of her co-hosts this month. Her special guest host is Emily from Farm Charm Cheek. You all already know her. I love her. She has become one of my best friends. And the other co-host, along with myself, is Mama Mia DIY, who is also such an amazing, talented crafter. Y'all, don't forget to check those ladies out and the playlist that will be listed in my description box number two so christmas i always think of christmas trees that's one of my favorite things about christmas but i wanted again to give this like a little coastal vibe so i'm using two of these cone foam pieces from the dollar tree and one of them i cut about an inch and a half to two inches off because it was just a little tall for what i wanted it because i wanted one larger one and one tall or smaller one so i'm just using my utility knife going around it in a full circle and then it just basically breaks right off after i get that off of there i do go ahead and use my sander oh my look at the mess but you all know me i'm the messy crafter so you know it is what it is i go with my sanding block and i go ahead and sand off as much of that excess that i can now I'm going to take some of the white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and we are just going to go completely up 
this cone with the white nautical rope. I love how this turned out. I think it's super, super cute. And for a coastal Christmas theme, I think it worked out totally perfect for this. So again, y'all, I'm not going to make you watch me going all the way up this, but we just go all the way up. We do use almost an entire thing of the white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree for this. But here we are finishing off going around the top piece here. And then we just cut it off and glue it down into place. For our next one, we took that white nautical rope and took it apart so that it has three strands. And we also used the brown nautical rope. So this one I kind of show you a little bit more just so you can see my pattern that I do. But you totally don't have to do it this way. You can do it any way you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the brown nautical rope and I'm going to go around the cone uh, five times with this rope. After that, we're going to cut it off and then we're going to start with a piece of that white nautical rope. And with the white nautical rope, we end up going around it three times. So I'm just kind of making a little pattern here. I love how it turned out. I think it turned out so cute. I'm trying not to say super cute or so stinking cute as much anymore because some people complain about that on other people's videos, but that's hard for me because I'm Southern and that's just how we talk. <laughs> so after the three strands of the white nautical rope, we are going to cut that off and we are going to go back in with the brown nautical rope. Again, I, I'm pretty sure we do, yeah, we do five more strands or five more rounds, I'm sorry, of the brown nautical rope. I tried to speed it up because I wanted y'all to see the pattern I was doing, but didn't want to make you just have to sit through watching me go around this cone with rope. So after the five strands, then we're going to take another piece of the white nautical rope. And I cannot remember, y'all, I'm going to watch along with you because I can't remember if I do three or five strands of this white. So we'll see in just a second. Okay. I must do five because we just passed the three and we're on the fourth. So five not strands. I keep saying strands. Five rounds of the white nautical, nautical rope. Cut it off. And now we are just going to finish up with our brown nautical rope. Now, when we get to the very top, we are going to put on one single layer of the white nautical rope just to finish covering up our cone there at the top because I did run out of enough of the brown. <laughs> so now that we've got that finished... I'm taking my lighter and just getting off all those frillies because I hate those things on the nautical rope. I, it just makes it look so messy. And then I'm taking my scissors and cutting off all the excess from where the rope frayed, the white nautical rope frayed. Now I am taking some beads from the Dollar Tree and some different colors of blue. And I am just going to paint these up to make little ornaments for one of our trees. And I just use a skewer from the Dollar Tree and a piece of their floral foam. And that, this is a probably the easiest way that I have found to paint beads. So again, just using various colors of those blue, and there we are with them finished. Now we are just going to start gluing those onto the brown and white nautical tree. No specific pattern, anything like that. I'm just gluing them on, you know, with the hopes that they look like Christmas bulbs um, for our tree. Then we are going to take one of these little stars that I took off some of the beads from the Dollar Tree, the nautical beads. I painted it a blue color and I'm just going to stick it right on the top there. For our white one, we're going to go back to our color palette of the blues, use our chippy brush, dip it in and then take a lot of the excess off and I'm just going to go through and it's not a whitewash because they're not white, but just kind of wash over this nautical rope just to give it a feel, feeling for me of the water. So I use three or four different colors of this. I don't even clean my brush in between. I just go over it all. Now I'm going to take some brown and white, I don't know what you call this, twine from the Dollar Tree. I put a little dab of hot glue on the top glue it in place and then I'm just wrapping it around my tree in hopes that it will look a little bit like garland <laughs> that you would put on a Christmas tree. These are so simple and totally not my cup of tea as far as my decorating goes. But now that I've seen them, I may really get into a coastal Christmas vibe this year because I love how these turned out. 
So now we're taking that beaded garland from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to take it all apart. I'm using the little stars to use as decorations for this white tree. We're just gluing them on. No, again, no specific pattern. Then I'm going to take one of these galvanized stars from the Dollar Tree, which is actually a little big, but when I get it on there, I think it turns out really cute. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the uh, rope up there and then glue it down. I did have to change it and glue it in a different spot because I didn't like where that was. But anyway, here we are with our nautical Christmas trees. I think these turned out adorable. Again, I think I may go with a nautical theme a little bit this year. Okay, y'all, so now we're on to DIY number three. I do not know what these are called, but I think it, this is totally cute. They're the little poles or little pilings of wood that are at the end of a pier or at the end of a dock. So I'm just calling them pilings. I don't even know what you call them. But I'm using these little stump pieces from the Dollar Tree. I'm gluing two together, then three together, and then four together. So again, I wish I could tell you what these are called. I don't know. Again, I'm just calling them pilings but i always see these at the end of like docks or piers or things like that and i love them of course they're usually done out of driftwood but i don't have any driftwood so we're just using these little stumps here after i get all three of the pieces put together we're going to use a piece of that white nautical rope from our first project and we are going to start uh, just wrapping it around them putting the smaller one in the front and then the two larger ones behind it and we're going to wrap our nautical rope around this twice. And I'm just gluing the nautical rope to the um, pieces of the stump instead of gluing the stumps together because they're a little jagged on the edges and they're hard to glue together. So after we get that finished, we're going to take some black and red buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. This is one of my Christmas parts of this video. The black and red always reminds me of Christmas and the color for july is actually red i think it's maybe garnet or ruby but it's red so that's what i'm counting as my um piece of july in this video here next i'm going to take a starfish from the dollar tree and i'm just going to glue that right to the front of the pilings there and then i'm going to glue our little bow right in the middle and there you have it i think it's super cute you could also add a string and make this a christmas tree ornament i think it turned out super cute so here we are, we're on to our final DIY, DIY number four. This is another super simple one. I'm taking these, let's see what they're called, wood stems from the Dollar Tree. I'm loving these things and I'm really gonna love them for Christmas and for fall. But I'm picking out two of the bigger pieces and then three of the skinnier pieces. The two bigger pieces we are going to glue together end to end. And then the three skinnier pieces we are also going to glue together end to end. So I'll get that done. And I just used hot glue. And y'all, this turned out great. I've not had any trouble with this. So it's not tried to come apart or anything else. So next we are going to take our piece with the thinner pieces and glue it to the piece with the thicker pieces. <laughs> Does that make sense? Y'all can see here what I'm doing. I'm making my own little sailboat. We're just going to reinforce it with some more hot glue. Then we're going to take this anchor paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to draw a cir er, circle, huh, a triangle on this. Y'all know I can't even draw a straight line. How this turned out, I have no idea, but it did. And then I'm just going to cut that out of the paper. Next, I'm going to take a piece of the nautical rope and glue it onto the back part of this and, that and cut it off. That just gives that a little more stability. Now we are just going to take our paper. We are going to glue it right to our thin piece right there just run a bead of hot glue or a line of hot glue down it glue that on there and it makes me feel like it's a little too large so i do go ahead and cut it down which was super simple now we are going to make another black and red super simple shoestring bow dovetail the ends and then we are going to put that up at the top of is that called the mass i don't even know anything about boats but up at the top of the uh, skinny parts, skinny sticks, that's what we'll say. And there you go. I love how this one turned out. I think it's so super, super cute. Y'all make sure you let me know in the comments below which was your favorite. Here is our final reveal of all of our coastal Christmas in July DIY projects. I had such fun making these. 
And this is a theme, honestly, I would have never thought to put two of my favorite things together, coastal or beachy and Christmas. But I'm going to start doing this more often because these turned out so, so cute. Again, thank you to Tammy for asking me to co-host this challenge. I've had such a blast. And y'all don't forget to check her, all the other co-hosts out, and the playlist in my description box. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?